Welcome everybody to Scott Cooks and today we're going to cook some spam. Not just any spam, we're going to go gourmet spam. This spam has real Hormel bacon in it. If you didn't know, Hormel is also the manufacturer of spam. So um, spam is not what you think it is probably. <laughs> I had to look this one up myself. It is pork shoulder. That's right. That's the only thing that's ever been in Spam since the first time they ever created it. It is pork shoulder with ham. These are excellent cuts of pork. They are um, grated. They use one or two distributors so they have quality control. And anyway, it's not snouts and beaks and hairs and toes. It's, it's really, really good pork shoulder. Uh, just happens to be in a can. Why is it pink? Well, they, because they add a little nitrate to it to help with some uh, bacteria growth, make sure you don't get any, and it uh, slightly tints the color. Anyway, Spam is great, and tonight we're gonna do gourmet Spam. We're gonna Spam it up. Uh, we're gonna air fry it. We're gonna throw in some pineapples. We're gonna mix up a little special sauce for it. We're gonna put some special bread with it. We're gonna toast it up, and this is gonna be one of the best Spam air fried sandwiches you ever had. Stay tuned. The main ingredients tonight will be Spam with bacon. Extra sourdough bread. This is huge bread, almost as big as my hand. That's a slice of bread. I've had a piece of this, unbelievable. And the secret ingredient will be, boom, pineapple slices. So, air fried Spam with bacon, air fried pineapple slices and air fried to toast up the sourdough bread. We're gonna mix ourselves up a little bit of special secret sauce, not too secret, but I'll show you how I do it. And we're gonna use our Ninja Foodie and cook it all. Stay tuned. Tonight we'll be using our grill grate sear and sizzle so we can get those super nice grill marks on our spam and on our pineapple rings. And very simple, I just took the stand that goes on the basket, flip it over, drop in your sear and sizzle and that's all you need to do for that. We do need a good, good, good preheat on it. Um, so I'm going to put it on broil for five straight minutes. And then I'm going to immediately drop the Spam slices onto it. All right, this is our Smart Lead Ninja Foodie, but because I'm just simply using broil, uh, any of the Ninja Foodies can work for this. And if you don't have a sear and sizzle, you can just use the um, rack that comes with it. It'll still put some, uh, it'll put some simulated grill marks on there for you. So uh, what we want to do with our, let me turn that up just a hair there. With the smart lead, we have a slider, so that's pressure. That's for steam and crisp. Make sure you go back and watch my videos on steam and crisp. I have so many. <laughs> that's the probably the greatest feature ever made. <laughs> and uh, then you go all the way over, and you get everything else: air fry, broil, bake roast. Now for this one, we're gonna go broil, 
450. Five minutes, and this is only to preheat the grill grate sear and sizzle, guys. This is just a preheat. We're not going to cook at that temperature. But we do need to get that sucker hot, real hot. Let's go. Once you've reached your five minutes, minimum of five minutes, let's go ahead and get our spam slices positioned so that they'll get the grill marks we're after. You want to have everything ready, get your tongs, your spam, everything ready because we want to move a little quickly so we don't let that heat escape. You can hear them sizzling in there. Should be sizzling, it's 500 degrees, right? And let's get that light shot, guys. All right, let's switch ourselves over to air fry. 390 is fine. I'm going to put it on 10 minutes, and we're planning on a flip at 5. I'm going to let you guys decide how long to cook them. Uh, spam is already cooked, ready to eat out of the can. What we're looking for is a little bit of a grill mark. And uh, when, the, when the pork starts to bubble a little bit on the surface, it's pretty much done. All right, that's a five-minute mark. Oh, we are looking good. Let's see if we got any marks on there. Let's see if we can get them loose. Uh-oh. There we go. Oh, yeah. Grill marks are just beginning there. So we may need another flip. We'll see how it goes. We're looking pretty good. Yeah, they're all getting the marks on them. Oh, that one really did well. Excellent. Back down for another five, guys. All right, that is another five minutes. They are looking fantastic. We got to get our pineapples on next, so let's not try to try not to lose very much heat. Um, I will show you these in a second. I do have some grill marks. I don't want to burn them. So we're just going to move quickly and we're going to leave that pork fat right on there. Oh man, you hear that. All right, get that air fryer going again. This is what we're talking about. Now, I could have went a little longer and gotten those uh, grill marks really dark, like it was outside on an outdoor grill, but I also don't want to burn up my Spam. Now, you can see I got a little dark edges going there, so for me, that is the perfect cook, and um, that just worked out great. All right, everybody, the pineapples are obviously going to cook a little quicker than the Spam, so we're not going to give those the same amount of time. And I'll let you judge. You can just cook yours the way you want them. That was um, a little over five minutes there. And it's so hot in there, it probably will not take two or three more minutes to finish that off. And apples are finished. They look fantastic. This is going to be so good on the Spam. Oh my gosh, I just can't wait. But we got a couple more small steps to do. And then we can eat. That's time for the sauce. It's not so special, but it's, uh, it's what's going to go really good on this Spam and pineapple. We're going to use a little mayonnaise, a little yellow French's mustard, and ta-da! A little smidgen of Thousand Island dressing. And uh, I am not going to measure this. I'm making two sandwiches. Um, you're just going to have to guesstimate how much you're going to make for however many sandwiches you guys are going to make. So, you know, that's probably enough to go on one sandwich. That's enough to spread on uh, two pieces or four pieces of bread, maybe a tiny bit more. That looks good. Okay. Mustard. If you think I'm crazy, you need to try mayonnaise and mustard. It is an outstanding combination. All right, not too heavy on the Thousand Island. 
can always adjust after the fact. Add a little more mayo, etc., etc. But that's coming out just about the way I want it right there. Get everything incorporated. That's pretty much perfect. Give that a little taste real quick. Yeah, that's right on the money, guys. Remember back at the beginning, I showed you the size of this bread. I'll show you again. It is as big as my hand. So I probably am only going to get one sandwich at a time on the sear and sizzle. But we'll go uh, test fit that in a minute. So what we're going to do is take a little spreadable margarine and get this all over one side of each piece of bread. That'll give us our nice toastiness we're after we have one giant piece of bread we're also testing to see if we can get two in there i'd love to get both sandwiches at once and we can look at that outstanding we're going to get our super secret sauce Shh, don't tell nobody it's a secret i'm just going to spread a little of that around and the reason i'm doing it this way is if it's not obvious is I had to do everything in stages. So some things have started to cool off a little bit. So this way I'll be able to toast my bread and reheat the Spam and pineapples. we get a little of this on the other side. All at the same time. Spam, 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 Spam. Now the buttered side is down on the grill grate and we're going to butter the other side as well and then we're going to um, attempt a flip we may not have to flip because the grill grate is pretty hot but we're going to see how it goes so let me grab some butter and um, we'll finish this topping off here all right let's go ahead and uh easier to do it this way than so we're just going to put a couple blobs on there we already got quite a bit on the bottom I know this might seem a little extreme to make a sandwich, but you know me, the more complicated I can make it, I think the better it tastes. So butter side up, and that's it. Lid down. Foodie on. Go ahead and throw it on air fry, 390. Time doesn't matter because we're just going to check it every two or three minutes to make sure it, um, when the top gets good and toasty, uh, we're going to flip it. We're going to get some big old tongs and and uh, we're going to do our best to flip it. It's going to be a little hard, I know, but we're going to do it. Perfectly toasted sourdough bread. And we're going to try to flip these over. Well, actually, we're going to try to get underneath and look. We may not even need to flip. Let's look under there. It could use a little bit. Let's roll it. Could use just a little toasting, a little more toasting on this side. It got a little bit. All right, we got them flipped back on. I'd say about two minutes and we'll be ready to eat. Fresh from the Ninja Foodie. Spam, pineapple, secret sauce, extra sourdough bread. Let's see how we did, guys. I'm just gonna cut this one in half. Oh, you hear that crunch? That's exactly what I was after. That is the amount of toastiness I wanted. Perfect. Still a little hot. We got some Spam, we got some pineapple, we got some sauce, and the only thing left is to take a bite. Love sourdough. Crunchy. Got that sweet hit from the pineapple. The super pork flavor. 
the mustard comes through from the sauce I made. I don't think you can make a better Spam sandwich, guys. Gourmet Spam and the Ninja Foodie. One more bite. Mmm. Big piece of pineapple on that one. Unbelievable. Mmm. That really is good. Wow. Don't be afraid of the Spam. <laughs> it's not pig snouts. It's not tongues. It's not ears. Good old pork shoulder with some good old ham mixed in with it. And that's pretty much it. For my case, I have a little bacon mixed in there too, but you can get it with jalapeno. You can get it with chilies. There's all kinds of spam variations out there. Make sure you try them all. I want to thank you for watching. Please hit that thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel. Leave me some comments. I will try to answer everybody that, that asks me anything. And let me know what you guys have done with spam. I have some other spam recipes coming up, uh, different variations. I think you'll be very interested in. I've got some some ideas that were spinning around in my head that I haven't seen anywhere else, so we're going to try those. So uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss anything, and we'll see you real soon.